a prominent Quechua polygamous businessman with more than 15 wives and over 90 children, is at the center of a ritual storm amid sensational accusations by one of his sons that he reportedly hired a Sangoma to perform some rituals on his deceased daughter's grave. The super dad, Peter Gore, popularly known as PG, is feuding with his son Malvin Gore. Their fight took an ugly twist in February this year after he allegedly refused to attend his late daughter's, Linet, funeral. Lynette reportedly died under mysterious circumstances. According to a family source, what shocked the entire family and led it to suspect that PG's planned visit to Lynette's grave in the company of a Sangoma for suspected ritual purposes was that the visit was planned without Malvin's knowledge, and it was also after PG had refused to attend Lynette's funeral. In a string of recorded voice calls which leaked to B Metro Malvin is heard fuming against his younger brother Elliot, whom he alleged was working together with their father Fix Him. Malvin is also heard reading a riot act to Elliot, while also demanding from him the phone number of the Sangoma he allegedly hired to perform the suspected ritual on Lynette's grave. Nipo Oka number Yananga Yamaifanarwakuenda Nao Kumakuva. Ia Natsvijay Pandaka Vigam Wana Wangu Pakidi, Hanakuaya Panhamo It's now nine months up a Akats Baga Pandaka Vigam Wana Wangu Pakidi Erikuda Kudi. Give me the number of a traditional healer you were supposed to go with to the cemetery. What is he looking for where I buried my child when he didn't come to the funeral? It's almost nine months now and is looking for my child's grave, why? And what does he want to do? Malvin is heard talking to Elliot in one of the voice calls. In the same voice notes, Malvin is heard being consoled by some relatives while urging him to continue working hard and believing in God. The voice calls also suggested that Elliot had turned against Malvin. When reached for comment, Malvin confirmed the nasty fallout between him and his father, saying it started when he refused to attend his daughter's funeral. He said it worsened when he heard that his father had also hired a Sangoma to visit his daughter's grave without his knowledge. PG, however, refuted the accusations, saying his hands were clean. He said the juju accusations were just a smear campaign by his sons to tarnish his image. He is crazy, I never hired a Sangoma intending to visit the grave of his late daughter. All these children of mine accusing me of using juju are crazy. I have 93 children and over 130 grandchildren, and if I was using juju on my family, how many people would have died per year? I would also have used it on them, since they are the ones troubling me. I'm tired of their baseless accusations which they started long back. My hands are clean, said PG. Meanwhile, PG is no stranger to controversy. In June this year he was entangled in an ugly fight with his other son Tyson following chilling suspicions that he was allegedly using Juju to catapult himself to a prosperous life and that he also wanted to shoot him as punishment for ill-treating his mother. He then sought a protection order against him claiming he was in possession of a gun which he was threatening to use to shoot him or send people to kill him within seven days. He begged the court to bar Tyson from coming to his house saying he was living in perpetual fear of him. Tyson, however, opposed his father's allegations saying he was the one who was always harassing and insulting him in public and in front of other family members.